public access to the courts. I'm pretty sure you do not want to be represented by that shirt. I see that there's a play on the words, a play on the letters. Right. I, I think you have to. You're fighting for your freedom here. Somebody else yeah, is getting tickets I, in your I, name. I, I am, man. And, you know, that's you kind wanna, of... You want to come correct. You want to do more than just show up. You want to come correct. Right. Okay. Let's move it forward. Hold on, Mr. Smith. I'm the one who moves the case forward, Mr. Smith. So people making identity theft, claim, identity theft claims is not un new or unusual. So there is a certain process and procedure to this. One is the necessary prosecuting authority has to review your file. Uh, you sent, you did send these documents in, but they were not, you did not send the matters actually to the necessary prosecuting authority, which is actually a crucial part of this process. Uh, so, but, they, they can be brought in. So this is this is this is what the court is going to do. So your matters are going to be set for trial. Now this is how that works. When it comes to the trial, the documentation that you sent, the necessary prosecuting authorities will be able to look at them ahead of time. And also, when it comes to the trial, uh, the officers of record who are the complaining witnesses, they have to show up. One, if they if they don't show up, uh, the defense attorney, will you you don't have a retained attorney. You haven't hired your own attorney, have you? No. Okay, so you'll have a court-appointed attorney the, the or the house counsel attorney. The house counsel attorney will know to make a motion to dismiss if your officers of record are not present in this case. And then, two, if the officers of record do appear, they will have to be able to independently identify you. You understand that, Mr. Smith? Right. And you, it's your position that this was not you and that this was your brother? Is that is that correct, Mr. Smith? Right. One more time, your audio faded out a little bit. Correct, correct. Oh. So, uh, Mr. Smith, you absolutely have a right to stand on your innocence uh, as far as these charges are concerned. Uh, all this documentation will be passed on to the necessary prosecuting authority. I mean, they're the ones who have initiated the cases. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now is your brother still located here in the state of Michigan, Mr. Smith? Yes, he is. And when was the last time that he got a ticket or whoever? So all of these tickets go back to like 2016 and 2017. When was the last time you received a ticket in Michigan? Or I shouldn't say you. When was the last time someone in your name I received will, a ticket in Michigan? I will be completely unaware of that. I haven't been in the state of Michigan. To I haven't even like been, even been in the state of Michigan since 2015. I'm completely ignorant of, I, I, okay. can, I can have one today. I wouldn't even know. Well, Mr. Smith, this is what the court is going to encourage you to do. You can go to 36districtcourt.org. Have you gone to that yet? Sure. Have you have gone to that already? Yes, the, the 36 district court website. Yeah. Yes. All right, so uh, you have the case numbers. If you see any other case numbers in your name, bring that to the attention of the court. That will be outstanding matters. This is all 16, 16, 16, 16. C ticket is from that one is also from 16. The SS ticket, these are all, all of them.
So, sir, your information will be passed on to the necessary, necessary prosecuting authority. Uh, I urge you to check your records with the court one more time before your next hearing. And then the officers of record will have to appear. I'm pretty sure the prosecution will want to speak to them. If they do not appear, I suspect that an attorney will be making a motion to dismiss on your behalf. And if not, you can have a trial and the officers of record will have to independently be able to independently identify you versus your brother who you suspect is stealing your identity. Very interesting. Hmm. Your trial date will be 4 15 21, April 15th. 8 30 a.m. Same Zoom number. 8 30 a.m. Same Zoom number. Yes, sir. 8 15 21. I mean, 4 15 21. 8 30 a.m. Same Zoom number. All right. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Mr. Smith, you may log off and continue on with your day. All right, you as well. Ms. Barrett, does the steward have anything to say of interest? Judge, she does have insurance, but I we, I was trying to figure out how she could share it with the court because they say only you can, can do that, so. All right, hold on. She doesn't have 